My name is McKenna Davis, and I don't know what's in my food. For example, I love mashed potatoes. My mom uses simple ingredients like potatoes, salt, milk, and real butter. And sometimes she adds a little bit of parsley to make it look pretty. Want to know what's in this famous fast food restaurant's mashed potatoes? Take a look. There are over 75 ingredients listed here. I stopped counting after potatoes. <laughs> I can't even pronounce some of these words. Well, okay, a lot of these words. So, do you know what's in your food? Think about it. Think about what you ate today. Do you know where your food comes from? Do you know where your vegetables, your meat, chicken, or eggs come from? Do they come from another country, or are they locally grown? Even food considered to be healthy or supplements used to lose weight have questionable ingredients in them. Protein powder, for instance, it's supposed to be healthy and encourage weight loss, but there's one ingredient that many companies use to thicken the powder when mixed with the liquid. It's called carrageenan. Some scientists, like Dr. Joanne Tabakman. A doctor in the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs in Chicago used this ingredient to create inflammation on lab rats, which can cause diabetes and even gastric intestinal cancer. Carrageenan is also found in some of our yogurts and ice cream. So, why is it in our food supply? Is carrageenan good for you or bad? Some people might argue that there's only a little bit of carrageenan in the product. But that's like saying there's only a little bit of poison in your shake. <laughs> Would you drink it? I'm here to talk to you about the quality of America's food supply and the health effects that are involved. I believe the quality of America's food supply is rapidly declining. Healthy foods are questionable because many food companies use genetically modified organisms, also known as GMOs. The most common GMO ingredients are found in corn and soy-based products. So basically, anything that starts with the word corn or soy should be considered a red flag. Like most of us here, we go to the store, pick out our food, and eat it. But we are unaware of the potentially harmful toxic chemicals we consume on a daily basis. We are exposed to chemical additives, antibiotics, preservatives, GMOs, pesticides, and herbicides. Many of you don't even know you're exposed or consuming these chemicals, but your bodies are absorbing a toxic combination of these substances. Don't get me wrong; we have to protect our crops and bugs, but sadly, the truth is that our protected food supply is slowly causing people to get sick. So when you go home tonight, look in your cabinets, look in your pantry, look in your refrigerator, pick out one of your favorite items to eat, turn it around, and look at the ingredient label. And if you see something that doesn't quite make sense or you can't pronounce well, ask yourself, "What's in your food?" Thank you.